Hey guys. Ciao everybody. So today we're gonna talk about probably the most important thing in kiteboarding, going upwind. <sighs> Quite a big step. Yeah, I mean, the thing is like, I often follow you, you know, when we go kiting on the spot and I can kite sort of, you know, but I still cannot get the upwind performance of you. What is the secret? You know, there's, there's definitely a lot of points that we can talk about and uh, we'll go through them. Okay, let's go. Point number one, gear selection. I think it's super important to have the right gear for the right use. In the common sense, like people would like to go on the biggest kite possible, but uh, actually the most convenient thing to go more upwind is, is getting like a bigger board. So if you, you know, let's say you go out with a 12 and you're like just, just going, you know, uh, if you increase your, uh, you know, your board size, you're definitely gonna get, uh, get like a bigger upwind uh, compared to going to a bigger kite, which actually is gonna uh, get you more power, but also more drag. So point number two is get speed first. Exactly. You know, uh, one of the things that I see happening a lot of times is that people, as soon as the water starts, they want to go upwind straight away, which actually when the wind is very borderline is what you don't want to do. You know, you kind of want to start and get some speed first, even if you're going to lose a few meters. And then when you have speed and some power, then you're going to proper put your, uh, you know, your, your weight on the, on the heels and aim upwind. Tip number three, and many people know about it, is to have the correct body position. So which position is a no-go for going upwind? I mean, just in general, you don't want to really be sitting on the toilet, you know, kind of position. The pooping position, pooping position no that's, go. that's not good. Uh, you kind of want to have, you know, your body straight, so your hips forward. And one thing that really helps, which, uh, you know, which I hope that most people know, is turning your shoulders, you know, towards the direction where you want to go. Yeah, you see a lot of beginners like being like stuck in front of the bar. Yeah. And you have to realize wherever your head, shoulders and hips are turned, your body follows. So if you want to go upwind, you have to be open to going Absolutely. upwind, right? Absolutely. That's one of the biggest steps, I think, as a beginner, because they are so, I mean, of course, you are so focused in controlling everything going on. Uh, but to go upwind, that's like one of the basic, basic things that you have to learn. Point number four is what do I do with the bar? All pulled in. Yeah. This is also, you know, tricky, you know, because at the beginning, of course, most people, you know, when you start, you just want to pull the bar, yeah? Because that's easy, pull the bar, kite is pulling. More power, less power. More power, less power. But actually, you know, it's all about, you know, finding that balance. But when you actually want to go upwind, you actually want to release the bar a little bit so the kite is not choking and it's flying more, you know, forward in the window, which is where you want the kite to be to go easier upwind. Okay, so the next step is to watch your surrounding. And I think this is super important, not just blindly ride and try to go upwind, but to be aware of where you are, right? Absolutely, you know. Uh, I think if you are in, in, in some spot where you have some signs or some trees or any, any kind of point that you can, you can focus on and, uh, and keep that in mind, I think that helps really a lot, really a lot. And, uh, and the next step, which I tell everybody when they want to learn how to, how to go upwind and how to figure out which actually, uh, you know, which angle to keep is following somebody. Following somebody and following their line, I think that's what you want to do. Point number six is work with the gusts. Um, I think it is really important we are dependent on the wind and the wind is not always the same. And as a sailor, you have to be aware of that, right? Absolutely. I mean, I think it's a bit more advanced point this one, you know, because uh, once you have, you know, all the all the cat situation figured out, this is about, uh, you know, kind of reading the wind and reading the water, because normally you see the gas on the water. Uh, but especially in marginal conditions, you really, you really have to, uh, you know, get used to that and work on that, because you don't want to put too much weight on the heels and like focus too much on the upwind when the wind is too light. So you can do that when you see the gust, but then when the hole comes, if there is, you know, kind of like a flat area spot, you want to kind of release a bit and put the ball more flat and maybe not aim so much. And then on the next gust, go again, you know. Um, so it's a bit more advanced, but I think on the, on the long term, it's really what you want to do. Tip number seven, and this is something that helped me personally, is to go upwind first. I think just as a, as a general advice, you know, it's always helpful, I think, and easier and more relaxed if you want to first go upwind, you know, and be safe, kind of like in a safe area. If anything happens, you're going to just, you know, come down and be at the right spot. Or anyway, if you start jumping and if you do a bunch of things that you're anyway going to go downwind, you're still going to be in a good spot to go back upwind. If you start doing that straight away and you end up, you know, somewhere down, there's a chance the wind is not going to be as good down there or, you know, like dangerous spots or, you know, whatsoever. So. And then your whole session is just this struggle to get back yeah, up. Yeah, just thinking on, damn, I have to go up now. I hope I can make it. Yeah, this okay, kind of things. No bueno, no bueno. No, no, no. 
you don't want to do that. Okay, so last step number eight, what do I do with the kites? Yeah, so in general, uh, this is quite dependent on the, on the wind speed. Uh, I would say especially when the wind is strong, you want to have the kite rather low because you can oppose you know, uh, like your weight much better to the power of the kite and you can, probably, you can properly lean and go up wind better. When the wind is light, you want to have the kite a bit higher because you know, like whatever happens if you have to work your kite to get more speed, you have more space in the window to do that uh, and anyway, it's not going to really drag you, uh, you know, downwind. I think it's super important for everybody to get really good in going upwind because if you think about it, if you can go upwind good, it helps you in everything in kiteboarding. Like if you want to learn how to jump, you spend less time to come back upwind, you have more attempts, Absolutely. Uh, you lose less energy. It's about jumping, it's, it's about freestyle, it's about wave riding. Upwind is just the basics, yeah. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Also have a look on another trick tips we've done together with Albi and see you here. I'll see you in Sicily. Ciao guys. Ciao.